Okay, I am so ready to do this thing. I just hit on air. We should be live in a second. <laughs> I have not played Xbox in at least four years. I don't know how long it's been since I played NHL. Yeah, 2016. This is NHL 16, which I guess it means that came out in 15. But hey, 15, 16, those were good years for the San Jose Sharks. That's my team. That's who I'll be here in this live stream. Let me just bring this up full screen for me. Yeah, Minnesota Wild against San Jose. Why don't we just play tomorrow's game tonight? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, by the way, that I made myself in this game. I'm pretty sure that you will see me on the roster here. Let's look at the Sharks. All right, let, let's talk about uh, what we should be wearing here. The Stadium Series jersey. Mmm, the 2012-13 homes, the big shoulder caps. Oh, yeah, how about the mid-thousands there, the mid-2000s? Those kind of like, uh, they, they had a lot of mesh on them, right? Those ones were different. They breathed differently. Ooh, the 06, 07 away, obviously the old crest on there. Mmm. Oh, the, the first black jerseys they ever had. Or you could just do the current home or away. Hmm, how about, uh, oh, and the old black alternates. All right, I kind of like the stadium series jerseys. They only wore them a few times. Let's do that for San Jose. That's gonna be me, by the way. And then the computer can be, oh yeah, Minnesota. Uh, let's put Minnesota in the ugliest possible jerseys. <laughs> they don't have ugly ones. I gotta, ooh, wow. That's bold. Actually, those aren't ugly. I, I I like the colors. Kind of the cream and the red and the green. By the way, are we streaming live here? Are you guys all uh you guys all watching this? You ready for this? <laughs> you ready for Brazil? By the way, tonight I had to update the Xbox. Like four gigs of software updates. It was like, where have you been for four years? What year is it? <laughs> So I updated everything. I brought it all uh, here inside the home studio. It was in a totally different room. So getting everything up and running was half the battle. Now let's just see how I do. I'm kind of waiting a little bit um, to get this stream going here because I know people will be checking in and, and tuning in. And uh, we'll fire away. Minnesota against the Sharks. Audio levels seem pretty good. Yeah, you can hear the game, right? Can be probably up a little bit louder. Maybe I'll turn that up a little bit. Uh, how about this? Edit lines and strategies. Let's see who's on the team. Let's take a look at these San Jose Sharks. Edit the lines. <laughs> Wait a second. Check this out. Standing six feet, 180. Okay, false and false. I'm rated uh, a 68. I'm a centerman playing the left wing on, on the Thornton line. It's me, Jumbo, and Joel Ward on the top line. <laughs> and then Joe Pavelski centering the second line with Hurdle and Tommy Wingles. Logan centering the third line with Matt Nieto and Ben Smith. Remember Ben Smith in that trade? And then on the fourth line, oh, you got Raffy. You got Melker Carlson, the milkman, and you got bad boy Mike Brown in there. Wow, that's awesome. All right, that's our, uh, how do I get to our, our defense here? Okay, oh, on defense. Vlasic and Burns, 44 and 88. You got just, now see, wouldn't Braun be with Vlasic, right? Paul Martin would be with Brent Burns. Can I, how do I do this? I wanna, I wanna, no, I don't wanna do this. I mean, I, I do, oh, quick swap. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so let's see here. Let's go Vlasic and Paul Martin flip, perfect. Now we got Paul Martin and Burnsy. We got Justin Braun, Vlasic. We got Brendan Dillon with Mirko Mueller. Oh, man. This is so classic. Some of the names here and just the, the time this was for the Sharks. Went to the cup final in 2016, 15-16. All right. So I like, uh, wait, I guess we should probably should probably go back to Brazil here for just a second. We got to 
We gotta do a little bit more inspection on this. Oh wait, no, I don't want to substitute me. I'm in there. <laughs> oh, here we go. On, I see over here on the right side. So my puck skills are a two and a half. Senses are a two. Oh, shooting's a four. Defense is a two. Yeah, that's about right. Skating's a three out of five. And I'm a four and a half, oh, three and a half out of five uh, physical. All right. Potential elite age 34. <laughs> I'm 40 now. Oh, man. How do I... I guess that's not it. It says R over there. I think that means right. Anyway. Look at Joel Ward. What a beauty. One of my favorites. All right. I think that's it. I'm ready. Let's go back. Starting lineups. We're good there. Oh, yeah. Of course I'll be out there. I'll be out there for the puck drop. All right back. Let's just do this thing. Is everybody ready? Let me see if I can, uh... See if I can go... Oh, that's not what I wanted there. I'm gonna see if the live chat is... Is on here. <laughs> Brody, the playmaker. Brody playing Shell on Xbox? Yeah, but I realized... You know, I just realized that I have now the old Xbox. And that one came out last year. I literally had to look it up. I didn't even know what Xbox I had. <laughs> it's the 360. Uh, this is from 2016. Yes, this is NHL 2016. Hello, Zach. Um, also, do I have the default soundtrack on? You can change it. I don't want to play copyrighted music. I don't want to get in trouble. Go Brody, I appreciate that. Oh, R means you click the right thumbstick. Okay, Felix, thank you for that. Oh, for player info. <laughs> Hat trick? Maybe. Maybe tonight. All right, let's go back to the game. This is kind of a jam. No, wait, so you, you're telling me you can change the music here? So if I... Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Felix, thanks, buddy. Now, look at... Now we're getting a, a slap shot accuracy and power. 83 and 83. My acceleration is not good. My agility skating is very good. <laughs> What's the lowest score there? Oh, deking and hand-eye <laughs> for puck skills. They're both 50s. Yikes. Oh, I was drafted. I was the first overall pick in 2015. I guess you could fill out the role there, too. That'd be awesome. All right. Let's do this. Enough delaying here, Brazil. Let's see how bad I... Okay, I should probably look at this. Uh, stick lift, hat, body... Okay, body check, move player, vision control. Okay, on offense... Shoot. Okay, is there? Oh man, I didn't. I did not see that long enough. An hour's drive south from San oh, Doc Everick. This is San Jose. There's a drive. Northern California has been hockey country since these guys arrived over 20 oh, years ago. Oh, this is pretty cool. The San Jose dun, 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 dun. Look at the graphics and everything. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Eddie O! I know these guys! I know these guys! The Western Conference has been the stronger. Do you have a theory on that? Well, I think it has a lot to do with size, Doc. I think it has to do with speed, and I think it has to do with the depth. Look at SAP Center in the background. It's pretty realistic. Look at halves and the warm-ups. I like those jerseys. You know, when they came out, I wasn't exactly sure about them, but... Oh, Martin Jones in there. I didn't realize they had the NBC graphics on this game. That's awesome. Or maybe I did and I just forgot. Probably was. Oh, what are the chances? We're going up against Doobie? Doobie was on the team last year. Who would have known at this time in, in 2016? All right, Brazil. Here, do I have a birdcage on? I think I do. Whoops, what just happened? Okay, by the way, I have no clue what I'm doing here. How do I check? Oh, right changes player. Minnesota's controlling play through center. Great job on a cut oh, oh, that wasn't good, Paul Martin. Pominville. Oh, there's me! Okay, right to pass. Give it to Jumbo. How do you shoot? Well, he won't He won't shoot anyway. Oh, right. There we go, okay. It can tell that I have not played this, like it's given me instructions. All right, how do you... Body check? Back near the blue line to Suter. Great job on a cut pass. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, right. Right changes the player. 
All right, cover that up, Jonesy. We need a face-off here. All right. I, I, I need to pause this. I need to look at how to... Uh, you guys are probably like, this is the worst live stream ever. Guy can't even play the game. Um, settings, yeah. Like, how do you... How, how, yeah, game settings. There we... Or no, control settings. Okay, okay. All right. Um, hmm. Fake shot, pass. All I really want to do is... Oh, okay, so the left button, shot, pass, and aim... Okay. All right. You know what? I'm not. I'm not going to bore you guys all with this. I'll figure this out as we go. <laughs> it's going to take me a while. Ray Ferraro, Doc. There's been some changes over the last ten years that maybe go under the radar, but if really come on, Pabs, win the draw, the buddy. Been Shifts used to be oh, nice. Long. Now thirty to forty seconds is absolute max because the game is played at such high energy and maximum effort that you can't go any longer. Okay, Ray. Shoot. Keep listening down there. Wait, how do you slides it to the point to Vlasic. Into the corner with that pass. How do I shoot? Pass? Okay, great. Looking from the blue. Oh, the right. Let's go, Arrester. Oh, I see. So I gotta kinda I gotta kinda point it. We're putting rubber on Dubnik here. Okay, I honestly I know this is bad. I just I have no clue what I'm really doing here. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. By the way, I will check the live chat at some point here. I'll take a break. But as for right now, i got to figure out how to play this game. I feel like hitting the right joystick is does everything. Wins a draw. Oh, too late. Win the draw. Oh, I see. If I kind of... Raffi. I want Raffi to score here. The net. Goes to the back oh. oh he the Wait, I, got, I can't see myself. <laughs> Oh, I see. Pass. Forcing attention in deep. Wonderful save on the redirect. I'll take myself off for a second. All right, now I'm kind of starting to understand this a little bit better here. They needed that to take the pressure off. Dubnik's pretty fortunate there. He makes the stop on that deflected shot. He's moving one way and has to go back to the other. All right, let's see here. Win the draw, Logan. Ah, oh, too late. I guess I didn't really know when to. the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. Oh, Vlasic tried a body check. Then he holds on. It's funny. I'm I'm trying to learn how to play this. Learn. I'm trying to learn how to play this game, and also control this live stream at the same time. <laughs> this is getting pretty messy. Under nine All right, here we go. Here in the first. Nothing up on the score sheet yet. Win the draw. Oh man! Minnesota's got it. He throws it there. Oh, a close call there. So the right button passes it. Parked in the slot, and it's on his stick. Oh, I see. Now I get it. So you kind of gotta like take that one. throw the. You gotta throw the puck here. All right, come on, Took come on back onside, everybody. Saw, so he will back. <laughs> oh, here we go. Gains the blue line, and it's driven away. Rister, but how do you like Hands wind up and shoot? And he'll see a face off right near it. I didn't want him to risk that. I wanted him to kind of clap that. He's able to make the glove stop here on a relatively easy scoring chance. Yeah, thanks, Ray. <laughs> oh, here we go. My line's out there. Come on, Jumbo. Win the draw, buddy. San Jose uh, got that win. Get it to Bruce. Could you imagine if I score, by the way? Zone. Picks it up in his own end. Get it to Brazil. Good oh. solid defensive oh. play with the stick. Nice job, Ordo. Shooting. How can I keep my line to out Parisi. there the entire time? Pointed the ground one. Wonderful save. Gets played. And Jonesy shot. just covers everything. He doesn't want to play the puck, I guess. <laughs> I wish I knew Jones how to play this game better. So you guys are getting full exposure here. I'm terrible at this game right now. I mean, I, I would even if I... I'd be bad if I practiced at it, but here we go. Too late. Quick on the draw. Got a piece of that one. Very oh, there we go. He played out. the puck. What a boy, Jonesy. Hold up by on to Coyle. Okay, so right changes the player. Looks ahead Can't see over there in the corner. What are we doing? What are we doing? Jose oh, Tommy Wingles has it. In the zone. Center so right will pass it. 
Oh no, Tommy. Propelled to Vlasic. Pass off the woodwork. To Here we go. Uh, and at an angle. Go, Tommy. Terrible. Get it on your forehand side. Let's it oh! <laughs> yeah! Just like last night. Oh, look at that. The shark head. Oh, shark. Oh, Sharky's on the game. Come on. <laughs> Yeah! The goalie was surprised at how quick I told him, get it on the forehand side! Look at Tomash. What's the goal song they're playing, by the way? What everybody does, the, the celebration is this? Is that what the celebration is? But can they build on this? Yeah! one nothing. Solid win at center ice. Now what? That's not Danny Miller. Danny Miller. Uh, uh, uh. Play it. Oh no, that wasn't good. Got to get it out of the zone, boys. Oh, uh, here we go. Nieto. Oh, he's Deacon. Outstanding play. Logan. Ben Smith. Devin Dubnik with the save. <laughs> now, now I'm doing a live stream, playing the game, and calling the game, you can't too. Ask much more from your than we'll do some this. Randy Hanisms an in here. Shot that he's able to deny. Hopefully we get some four-on-four -four play. Melker taking a draw. Beat him on that one. Oh. And possession once again by Ryan Suter. Let's see here. Pitching Change the players. Let's it go. And a good save in the goal crease. How do you do, like, hustle? How do you, like, skate faster? I would love to know that. There's got to be a bu- Oh, shh! Five seconds left? Damn it. Michael Granlund. It's not how hard you shoot it, but it's the release that counts, and he snaps it home. That does look like the tank. Sometimes is the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net. All right, so it's 1-1. Of course, my line's out there now. At least that wasn't a dash one there. <laughs> Just fired on net. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Throw a check, Brazil. Back near the blue line to Carter. Oh, man. The first period has come to if only I knew how to play this game a little bit once, better. But only once, so it's 1-1. All right, let's uh, let's check in the comments here. Hat trick, no. They switched the scoreboard. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, the OG Carlson Melker. <laughs> Zach, thank you so much for uh, sticking with that first period. Oh man, a lot of people with some uh, hurdle love. Yeah, with hurdle and wingles, you got peas and carrots out there. I could probably, let me see here. Can I put the live chat? Oh, yeah, I can. I can put the live chat right over the game here. Oh, wait, coach feedback. Oh, a C overall. C plus on offense. Yeah, because I scored. I'm too late on face-offs. I just wish I knew how to control this darn game. No love for Sharky. Never. <laughs> fight someone. You could, How do I do that? I don't even know how to pick a fight. Oh, hitting the joystick is a fake shot. Oh, got to hold the trigger. Okay, do, down the right trigger for a stronger pass. <laughs> no, it's actually NHL 2016. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is sure something, all right. Oh, tap R3 to hustle. Where the hell is R3 on here? <laughs> I don't even. I honestly don't even know. R3, anybody? Oh, RB. Maybe that's what you meant. RB. All right, well, let's go back to the game here. I just wish I knew... Well, whatever, I'm not gonna... This is how I play these games. I just I just kind of learn on the fly. Look at that, that, that looks pretty realistic there. Oh, of course, Jumbo, Brazil, and Wardo out there. What a trio. This game is Win that, Jumbo. Just begun the second period. Get it to me, to here we go. Did he say to me? Oh, there's a drive. Shoot. Nicely padded away. Back in his defensive end to get it. San Jose. Here we go. Oh, it's Brazil coming up the right wing. 
Oh, the wrister, the terrible wrister on Doobie. Oh, oh, you want some? You want some of that, Jared Spurgeon? <laughs> the birdcage! Oh, the birdcage! That's classic. Oh, man. I don't, I don't remember making myself on here. Clearly, I did, or somebody did. But that's... Uh... <laughs> Oh! I have one time to shot. How about that? Oh, oh nice! Good defense there. Okay, what are we icing the puck here? What's going on? Oh, Tommy Wingles! And then he passed to nobody, but I, I like the idea. I gotta take this off. Good attempt, but a weak stick. The Sharks in their own end. Bronner with the, the outlet pass to nobody. Oh, no. To All right, Pickles, here we go. Tommy he Hurdles. On through the neutral zone. Oh, Pabs, you're shooting from behind the cage? Minnesota's uh -oh. continuing on in the defensive zone. And he'll continue possession in neutral ice. Here we go. Puck controlled in the defensive Trying to chip and chase on me. The Sharks in their own Oh, Ben Smith. Oh, here's a wrister. All we do is shoot wristers on this team. Chip to Spurgeon. <laughs> Good job with the stick. Minnesota is accelerating on in neutral ice. Terrific interception. Here we go. Get it up to Logan. Oh, no. It's right across center Hunter. ice. What are you doing? He drops on back further. What do you think he's thinking? Pass ahead. He's nudged off by the defense. Moving well with it. Between Paul Martin lines. jumping in the play. Cranks one. Terrific save with a pass. Minnesota's controlling the play in their own. Burnsy's back. Drill. Pass. That's play it, play it, Rafi, come on. Yeah, I don't like whistles. Save. The Sharks look to make a difference up the wing. Shoot. I wanted to deke is what I wanted to do right there. Gathered in by Torres. Carried oh, came out of Dillon. the zone. Possession held as he skates Dilly. up the one. Good first baseman. Whoa, stay. oh, I saw, did you also see there, like, where to shoot on Devin Dubnik? Did it have kind of the... The hot and cold areas. Oh, there's me. There's me. Quickly, but he's Probably like, uh, hey, Pete, Pete, can I go in? Gets his legs <laughs> out to make the stop. Here, oh, my line's out there. Here we go. Come on, Jumbo. Come on, Jumbo. Get Brazil a goal. Yes. Mirko. Get me the puck. Here we go. Oh. Yes. No, Brazil. Minnesota's carrying it in their own end. Laid on to Foley. Moving Get it to, to Brazil. Let's it go. Block that. Oh, oh no. Great save and he keeps it. You can't ask here we go. Oh, here we go. What a great glove save. Oh, that's good. Oh, that wasn't a great shot. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you got to find a way to put the puck in the net. <laughs> really good deflection. Oh, well, here we go. In the defensive zone. Let's go, Arista. Shot blocks. Come on. I can't even see myself over there. Come on. Oh, Joel. Minnesota Has my line been out there for like six minutes? <laughs> Get it to Brazil. Long lead pass to Braun. Here we go. Right in front. Oh! Great strength and support by the Sharks. Balls his way along for the blast. Oh! I'm just trying to one time a puck now. Keep it in. Good keep. Oh! No, then you lost the puck. Passing one off now to Niederreiter. Cranks a shot. Got in the way of that one too. Looks ahead to start. Tommy Wingles. The Sharks. Five. Four. Three. A shot. Great grab. So how do I shoot harder? I feel like I was hold, I was holding it longer there, and Tommy Wingles just kind of chipped it. All right. That's a terrific glove. Stop. Figure this out. Labeled for the top of the net, and he's able to make it fantastic. Top save. cheese. It's one one through forty, about to be. Loose puck taken I can't win a draw anymore. I was winning them all at first. 40 minutes have been played. All right. The rest is deserved. 
How's the stream going? Yep, stream's good. All right, we got some people here. There. Oh, look at. Of course, I'm the last guy in the room. And 14 for the Sharks. Turtle with a chance. Martin Jones. They haven't been strong. He's kept them in here, and here's one example. We'll return Ooh. after these words. Still getting C's on my coaching here, on my gameplay. <laughs> Anybody got any tips here? Let me um, hmm, let me pull that up like that. It's time for some tips. Uh, hold the puck to your forehand sometimes. Yeah, I've been trying to do that. <laughs> are we are we trying to get a post game analysis here? Yeah, I'll I'll host the post game show of this one. We'll need some highlights. Need one of those Braun Bronner bombs from the blue line. Okay. Uh, oh, down, then up for a slap shot. Tyler, thank you so much. Oh, burn. Burn. Oh, pull the stick. You need to see me play MLB The Show. <laughs> oh, double tap Y to fight somebody. I did not know that. So random EA employee said, <laughs> going to add me to the game. No, I, I, I don't know... I, I might have made it, or somebody made it. I, I don't recall. Okay, tap Y to fight. Oh, it's L3, not R3. Okay. Can check the setting. Yeah, I, I probably should check all, all these settings. But you know what? I. So this is why I'm so bad at these games. I just want to play. I'll, fig, like, I'll figure it out. I'll play one game. I'll figure this out. I still can't get over the tank, though. Like... That's so, that looks really good. All right, we're back out here. I'm going to have another four-minute shift. Oh, I see. I got to kind of pull back. That's what I got to do to win a draw. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I don't like this. I do not like this. Can't see. Can't see, although I do know it's me. Come on, Brazil. Oh! Now I see how to shoot a little bit better. Okay, so you gotta like, you gotta like actually take a shot with your thumb. Oh, look at me! I'm pissed. Dubnik's ability to read the play was pretty good there as he got across to make the stop on that odd man rush. Oh, Brazil! All right, Pavs. Oh, there we go. Now I know how to shoot! Pickles! Look at you! You gotta crank that thing! Yeah! Sorry, Devin Dubnik. Look at the tank going nuts. Oh, there was me! Giving Pick a bump. Look at Pickles! Pulling it to the forehand. <laughs> The Sharks have broken the oh, this is great. Now I got to get the puck back to me so I can try and score. Now that I I now know how to win a draw. Well, I didn't do it there, but. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're firing slappers now. Oh, fight, fight. Pabs, fight him. Wait, he wouldn't let me fight him. Can That's I not fight? Shot. He's able to get his glove on it, though. The shooter is just shaking his head. He can't believe it. <laughs> Look at that. We got to get Over my line out there. Gone. We had a tie game right, here we go. Just moments ago, it's a one goal contest. San Jose's got that face off win. Slid to Niederreiter. Pitching this one to Vanek. To Pavelski. Pavelski's creating chances for his teammates with two oh, assists no. so far. A shot and another strong save. All right, let's get a new line out there. Let's get that top line out there. <laughs> let's get Brazil Jumbo and Wardo out there. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody. Yeah, that was that wasn't a great a great kid. shot. I don't know why I fired that one off. Of it's Nieto's line. Nieto, or Logan's line with Nieto and Ben Smith. Win the draw, buddy. San Jose's got another win. Paul Martin stepping into one. Pass to the shooting position. See, the next thing I want to do is figure out how to one-time a puck. The puck Possession seized by Smith. Here we go. Neat speed. That was not a good Perkins shot. I, I tried to deke a little bit, but... Uh oh now I can't see. That box here. is too big. Slides it to the here we go. Burnsy. Glides across. 
Burnsy, what are you doing? How come he wouldn't shoot? Turn from one teammate to another. See, I wanted Burnsy to like crank up right there. Great hands to deflect that. I thought I was. I thought I was doing it right there. Apparently, it wasn't. That puck changes direction. It becomes a really I'm also looking to see if I have some. The goaltender to make. I don't have that button here. All right, I'll keep doing this. All right, the Carlson lines out there. Come on, milkman, win a draw, buddy. Good face-off win. No, Pickles, what are you doing? Possession taken by Vlasic. Looking to Carlson. Get some milk, buddy. What a move! Outstanding save with the All right, let's get my line out there. Right into his glove. Hey, boys. Come on, well, Jumbo, Brazil, on this and 42. Like Give me 6, 19, and 42. Oh! Stop. Over nine minutes gone. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. Good face-off win. Let's it fly. Ah, the milkman! Oh. It's 3-1! Three three one. One. <laughs> the goal horn, listen to that. Oh, Sharky. Dun, dun, dun. I guess they can't play this music. Get some milk. So we had uh, Hurdle score. We had Vlasic score. Now we had the Milkman scoring. We've got to get number six a goal. Neutralized face off win. Oh, come on. What kind of pass was that? That was also a bad pass. Somebody up there? Oh, no. I couldn't see. Oh! Oh, nice! The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Trying to go to Zucker. Cuts between the blue lines. Jabbed away by... Oh, nice poke check pick. San Jose's got possession. Here's Hertz. Wrist shot. Save. Ah. Ah. All right, get my line out there. On to Zucker. Where is that top line? Ranks one. It's off his pad. San Jose's oh, here we go. Zone. Oh, oh. I didn't get... I didn't get body checked there. Oh, I want it so bad. And the possession taken by Pavelski. Oh, Bernsey. to Koivu. Now it's directed to Vanek. Pass cut. Look at 88 Still getting back. Get it to six. Taken on by Ryan Suter. Right into the slot. Oh. Nice play with the stick. Nothing this is like me in a fantasy game. I just try and shoot whenever I get the puck. Even, even if it's a bad shot opportunity. Here we go. Oh, come on. I'm like getting nervous for myself with the puck, and I'm not even, not even playing. Oh, Jumbo! That's a physical brand of hockey taken behind by Joel Ward. That oh man, I, I must have got changed there. I saw Nieto on. Well I'm probably not going to get another shift. Oh no! 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 Damn it! Too busy trying to score my own goals, and then Minnesota comes back and makes it a one goal game. Now I got to manage this game. Nino Niederreiter. Come on! You get this close to the goaltender to puck on your stick, you got to snap it quick. Jones drops to the butterfly. It's almost Edzo like he believes he's got the whole net covered because he doesn't move. Yikes. Minnesota's deficit is only one because of that. Last yeah, goal. I know, Doc. Let's Thank you. Tie it up here in the third. All right, guys. Puck possession. Play in their end. They can't score. Another victory on the faceoff. Shoots one. Give that goalie credit for another. Oh, nice shot, nice shot. All right, all right. Oh, oh, let's fight, let's fight. I'm hitting Y. Double tapping Y. It's not working. Been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside. What a shot that was. <laughs> all right, the Logan line. 40 seconds left. Jared Spurgeon's blocked five shots. They make sure every puck Holy smokes. Path to their Laid on to Brodeen. Slid to Parisi. 
With a drive. It's a drive. <laughs> I missed Doc Emmerich, man. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, Paul Martin, no. What are you guys doing? Get it out. Oh, empty net. What am I doing? Should have got it to myself. Neat. Ball game. Brazil wins. Yeah. What does that say? Go fishing? What did that say? Matt Nieto. That one should put the icing on the cake. That's a good feeling. Boom. The You've locked it up now with the empty netter. Nice selly, Neats. <laughs> All right. Look, there's me. I'm the only one with a birdcage out there. San Jose's got another face-off win. Come on, Vlasic, get another one. And the puck is grabbed by Vlasic. Blocked away. The Grun. On to Suter. To Parisi. Not a long pass, but a ball game. Sharks win. The Sharks come away victorious. Jones let up a couple. They made it interesting, but you know what? I'm going to say it. Two or fewer. <laughs> For the Minnesota Wild. How about that? Are oh, we going to get highlights? A Vlasic bomb. Go Finn. Oh, go. Oh, go Finn's go. I didn't. I get it. What is that guy doing over there? So ends another game and another telecast. The Milkman. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night. That's pretty cool. I like the fact that there was the NBC presentation on there. That was uh, that was pretty good. Can I do like a? Okay, so I got a B minus overall. I definitely got better as I went on. Team play C plus. Yeah. What does it tell me to do here? Uh, passing was okay. Wrist shot goal. Keep firing shots like that. Late on the draws. Okay. I'm getting coached up. Oh, the whole replay? I don't know if I want to see that. All right. How do I end this game here? <laughs> Sounds good. I'm sure you want to quit the game. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm done with this game. All right. Wow, it got quiet all of a sudden. I had that game cranking so hard. I guess I also have to put myself up on the screen here. I didn't realize I'm actually live streaming. Online shootout mode. Oh, head-to-head -head shootout. Okay. If I just want to do, like, myself in a shootout, can I do that? Practice mode. Free skate, one-on-one -on -one against the goalie. Oh, here we go. Yeah. You know who's going in there. Yep. All right. Here we go. Oh, switch player. Poke check, stick with body check, move. Okay. I think I was using the arrows the whole time instead of even using the... All right, here we go. Oh, you might want to shoot Brazil. Oh, I see the right, but let me try this again here. Oh, sorry, Joner. Forgot to stop. Oh, man. Listen to the sounds of this. What was that? Oh, that's nice. See, I can't figure out how to, like, really... I don't have the touch to, like, fire this thing off. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I could deke a little bit. Get the puck back over here. Shoot it! See, I just don't get it. Like, wh There's not, like, a shoot button. You kind of really have to, like... Oh, jeez. It's embarrassing. Enough of this. Let's play one more game. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, 
Let's do some live chat for a second. Quit that bad boy. Yes, I want to quit. Uh, in the live chat, maybe we could pick out, um, we could pick out like a new game, like matchup. What teams you want me to be? Uh, choose the jerseys, the settings, all that stuff. So you know what? Uh, let me see here. Let's dive into the live chat for a second. <clears throat> Not seeing Timo. I know what's going on. Maybe, did I put myself in in Timo's spot? Go fishing. I think it said go fins go. Let's play two. All right, I'll play one more here. Oh, you gotta yeah, you gotta flick that right stick up. I I just I really gotta get that that going better. <laughs> Sorry, Joner, forgot to stop. You have to use the joysticks to point at players to aim passes. Okay. Okay. Offline shootout mode against the Flames. San Jose versus the Avs. Tyler wants that. Up is a shoot button. Try scoring a backhander. All right. Oh, great call. Make it the cup final of 16. Penguins and Sharks, and this time the Sharks win. Okay, well, no pressure, right? Let's... Let's do that. Let's, uh... Oh, look, I forgot I had this camera, too. Uh, let's do it. Let's make... Let's make the Sharks and Penguins here. Alright, I'll be the home team, of course. And I'm going to be the... San Jose Sharks. Perfect. Pittsburgh, you guys are on the road. Let me see here. Stadium... Those are your stadium jerseys? Oh, no, those are. Oh, yeah, I kind of like those. I used to like those baby blue ones. Let's put them. Uh, uh, oh, the old penguin one would be tight too. Yeah, let's do that. Put you in the alternates. And you know what? I'm I'm going old school. I'm going. Uh, that's that's too much black maybe for us. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna put them in a white jersey here. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be... There we go. That's the one I... Wait. Wait, what? There we go. That's the one I want. The home teal. Let's do it. Brazil scoring a goal in this one. Calling it. Yeah, right. All right. Shoot, Deke. Move the player. Oh, one touch, Deke. Vision. Oh, pass. All right. All right. Dun, 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 dun. See, I get more pumped up off Good this evening, than anything else. All right. Emmerich, tonight see what they're going to say. West. What's one of the best things about this? Well, I think for the fans who's realizing that you're going to be able to see every team in the National Hockey League come into your building, it makes for a great brand. It's funny, like when they record this, it, it has to be so generic. East versus West. Let's say something else that applies to all the matchups. Defense, the Look at Joner, 199 the goals against, game, seven shutouts. He even gets mad if he lets one in in practice, and sometimes he doesn't for the Sharks. Those jerseys look pretty good, Mark gotta Andre say. Fleury is the goalie of choice oh, tonight. Flower. And Stanley Cup championship in Pittsburgh look at that record. His birthday. In back -to -back All right, here we Cup go. Finals, he won this one's for the Cup. This one's for revenge of 2016. Here we go, boys. Yeah, Jumbo. No surprise as he's played over 12. I'm lined up against Phil Kessel. Almost always in the starting line. Yeah. Oh, first shot of the game for Brazil. Should have fought somebody. What a great glove save. What's up, Flurry? I see you. So quiet. Why is this game so quiet? Good job on the draw. Moving it to Kessel. Neutral zone carry. Uh oh. Three on one. You can just spell a goal. Wonderful save. No, you can't. Go, Jumbo. What was that? Picks it up in his own end. And now it's directed to Kessel. Pitching I thought it was a hustle button, and it wasn't. He wasn't hustling. Wrist shot. Oh, Polly. Get it to Brazil. The Sharks look to make a difference up the wing. Propelled to Brody. Oh, he said my name. Great scoring chance here. Those oh, come run. on, Brazil. D 
damn it! And quickly to Kessel. Outstanding save with a glove. Here we go. Take it up the ice yourself. The zone. No, don't In pass. Heath continues. Get it on the forehand side and then just rip. Shoot. Oh. oh. Oh, get it to Brazil. Snapping a pass to Hornquist. Hammered. Wonderful save. The shooter cannot believe he made that unbelievable save. Oh, Jones, come on. Get it out, boys. The puck is Go, Joel. Go, Joel. Joel he can start some oh, here. great shot. Not through. Boy, we are all over him here. Let's it oh, I thought that was it. I know it's a great stop, but if you're the shooter, you have to elevate Nice one-timer there. The net with the shot. Right idea, but he just missed Come back and net. get it. Come back and get it. You got time. You got time. And he continues with it in his own end. Trying to go to war. And a pass was that. Nice pass up the middle to Perron. Great save. My guy over there? Uh-oh. Tries to get it on net. Can he generate oh, something? Oh, at a post? San Jose's carrying on in the defensive ben zone. Ben Smith. Making progress at center. Shooting. Stick All right, we'll take it. Oh, I thought he was going to cover it there. Taken up near the boards by Dupuy. He's got that centering pass. Great work with the pad. Slid to Sutter. Stays on side to the middle. Dilly dilly. Uh-oh. You know, I didn't see much of Dill in the last game. All right, we'll ice it. We'll ice it. Oh, look at the controller just vibrated. I didn't think I'd felt that before. I'm sitting alongside Mark Andre. It's all kind of new to me. NHL coach. Was he it's really been a few years. Right yes, he was. Yeah, if you're That's just tuning in, I've not played this game in. I've not played the, the Xbox in like four years at least. Play with more oh man. In his game. Super athletic, but understanding that less was more as a young goaltender. Come on, Raffy. Oh, Raffy. Get one, yes, Raff. Yes, it's been up and down. Yes, it's been rolling closer. It's hard to argue against the guy that went to back-to-back -back Stanley Cup Finals. No score. Somebody's got to get on the board here. Been a long time Let's get the top line back out there. What do you say? Stop for a goal and down in the butterfly, turned aside. Just a bit under six minutes to go here in the first. Both teams are still looking for their first strike. The Sharks prevailing on the faceoff. Cranks a shot. Oh, Melker. Back in his defensive end to get it. Sid. To Kessel. Pittsburgh. <laughs> they have Latang, Crosby, and Kessel oh, out there. Wonderful play. Oh. The is thrown to Kunitz. Nice. Corralled Look at that Carlson. play. Directing that one to Nieto. Chip to Kunitz. Pitching it to You're getting a change here. Pass cut. Passing one off now to Mata. Laid on to Crosby. And here we go. Oh, his shot had the goaltender beat Doc. He rifled it just wide of the net. Let's go, Arister. Oh, man. Right into the slot. Nearing the terrific. Whoa. Gets that pass from his goalie through traffic. Pass attempt to Dupuis. One minute left. Great job on a cut pass. Let's not allow a goal here. I'll take no score, but. Looks ahead to start something. Looking to Dupuis. All right. Moving it to Sutter. Got a piece of that one. Scoreless after one. First period Trying to win over. the cup here. Goalies Sharks and Penguins. They stopped everything and we are scoreless. Bet you'd like to know what the shots were. <laughs> I Ten would, dog. for the Penguins and six for the Sharks. That's it! The Sharks are being... We got to test Flurry a little bit more here, boys. Tender. It would be decisively against them without him. Here's an example of his work oh. as we go to break. They play highlights? All right, I'm getting a C in this game and a C-plus on defense. Now you guys see why I don't play a lot of video games. <laughs> First period has been played. Second period about to start. A look ahead. San Jose's All right, come on, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Start, and they did, oh, too early. They can't get discouraged without scoring a goal in that first period. There have been no goals since the warm-up. Nothing, nothing here. In the oh. 
picks it up in his own end. It's an okay shot, it tells me. Long lead pass to Kunitz. Let's it go. Waffle boarded. Come on, Polly. Carried to the corner by Kunitz. Passes to the slot. Paddled aside. <laughs> Brazil being defended on by Sidney Crosby. Brazil with Thornton, but he's going to shoot it. You know that. Rister, oh, save. oh, oh, Score. jump out. Oh, oh, for the boys. Oh, Brazil, I can jump out. <laughs> what nothing. How about that? Yeah, look at that. Assisted by me and Bernsey. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> look at Jumbo. Oh. San Jose's got That's it. No more replays. And lots of time left in the I can watch that like We're five more times. Number two. The Sharks prevail on the draw. Here we go, pick. Here we go. And he is shooting. It's kind of a weird shot. With a drop. I was trying to get him to play the puck there, but. Jonesy wanted to cover it. Just under four minutes played here in the second. The Sharks lead 1-0. Come on, Pavs. Deez oh. That face -off win. And another save. Oh! <laughs> Jonesy covering it from his behind. Yikes. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to really, much Did that really kind of slip behind him there? Another D zone face off. Got quiet all of a sudden. Clean win on the draw. The Sharks control the play at center. On to Nieto. Went to the backhand. Ooh. Pitching this one to Porter. And I think I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try and shoot one timers from now on. Big drive. There's a drive. Dixon. Possession seized by Dupuy. What, what the heck? March How'd I lose the puck inside. so fast? And the possession in his own end by Dylan. San Jose setting things up in oh. great stick there. Whoa, what a play. Come back. And possession snapped up by Mueller. In the defensive zone, possession still his. Here we go. San Jose is accelerating ahead through center ice. And they've got a three on two here. Drives to the crease. Oh. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Oh, I tried to one time it to pads. From that area. Great save. Solid defensive play nice. to break up the rush. What was that? A shot. Oh, hurts. Two nothing. Yeah, Tomash. That looks nothing like Tomas Hurdle, but that's still okay. <laughs> go Finns, go. That a boy assisted by Paul Martin. It's not how hard you shoot it, but it's the In traffic, look at that. And he snaps it home. Flurry's beaten pretty what a beauty. He just gets a small touch to the puck, but I mean, I'm happy with an assist to Jumbo, but San I still got to get number six a goal here. We're halfway through the game. There's a question too here in the second period. Do they start to play it a little conservative? No. Or do they go at him and try and make this. We're going right at him, Doc. The puck is scooped up by Vlasic. Really oh. good deflection. No harm. And the possession taken by Hornquist. He's got that one. Let's see what happens. That hits somebody. Snapping a pass. Here we Carlson. go. Carries it toward what a one-timer here. Oh, here's a wrister. And a good save oh. there. The Penguins through the neutral zone controlling the play. And possession has changed. Brilliant. Yeah, it has because we're good pass. now. Now the puck rounded up by Brown. Trying to go to I should make Curtis on here. <laughs> Shoots one. Corralled in the defensive zone by Vlasic. Oh. Trying to make a three-line pass there. What was going on? Oh, Raffy. Tommy Wingles. To Come on, Tommy. Score. Oh. The puck taken hold up by Phil Kessel to Kunitz. It's a three on two as they move in. Magnificent glove save. The Sharks starting back in their own end. Propelled to Pavelski. Pavs, here we go. Into the end of attack. Oh, what a move to get Oh, Tommy Wingles! 
on the rebound. Three nothing Sharks. Brazil figured out how to play the game now. Yeah. The goaltender had no nice chance move right there. With the quick release. Flurry's gloves just not quick enough to catch this one, and so he dropped into the butterfly expecting a low Bang. shot. Bang. But the shooter made a Look nice at the crowd. That looks like 2019 right San there in Jose's game seven of round one. Lead. They've had the puck almost the entire time. Here we go. Oh, the Brazil the line. Well, here. the Thornton line, but you know. The Sharks control from the faceoff. Come on. Moves to the corner. Let's it go. Oh, that's not a great angle of a shot. Come on. Want to fight? Want to fight? How do I fight? Double tap. Oh, there's me. There's me. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. <laughs> a little under three minutes to go. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. Directing that one to Porter. Moves up the side with it now. Come on, boys. Jabbed away by Dylan. Scooped up by Joel Ward. Get it to Brazil. Oh! Picked up in the attacking zone by Brody. By Brody. I can't find the target. <laughs> My dad once told me, Doc, if you don't hit the net, you can't score. Back near the blue line to Mueller. Back in front. Got it on his Oh, look slot. at that pass. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. The goalie makes himself look big. Six remaining. Oh. Save with a glove. Oh, if you're a shooter, you don't want Dang to it, I just want, I want to score so bad. <laughs> I want me to score so bad. <laughs> Pretty routine stop. You can see why. Yeah, I know. They make the a lot of routine stops on me. I get it. Away the bottom of the net. I'm so pissed right there. Four seconds left. Win the draw. San Jose is quick on the draw. Oh. Pitching it to Kunitz. All right, three nothing after two. Big middle frame right there. This contest and everyone gets a break, but just for a moment, third period coming up. Let's see what's going on here in the chat. Hey, look at the shots on goal through two. 17 for the Sharks. See some funny. And 16 <laughs> for the Penguins. Felix, okay, I'm going to guess. Are you playing on pro difficulty? I don't Flurry think so. I'm pretty sure this is the easy mode. But this is not one make him, oh, make Curtis with the goatee. Do it. How about that? Tommy Wingles. I should make Brownie in this game. I just scored three. All right, let's go back to the game here. Just make sure that the stream is rolling good. Excellent condition. I like that. Okay. Let's do it. Let's play this third period. And then, you know what? Let's... We'll give it a rest after this. I'm not going to play this game the entire time. Two games is enough. And I'll practice some more before I do this again. Here we go. We have begun the third period. Come on. Oh. Get right in Flurry's face. <laughs> Whoa, he was able to get the glove on this excellent scoring chance. Looked like he had him beat. Excellent scoring champ, chance. And he makes an incredible glove stop. Here we go, Jumbo. Quick work on the faceoff. Oh, I want that one so bad. Oh, one timer. Puck held near the point. A terrific challenge. Outstanding save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Passing one off now to Kessel. On Polly. The right wing now. Polly throwing a hip check. Shoot. That's turned aside. And picked up now by Kunitz. Lots on that to Latang. Oh, no. Damn it. And I was out there, too. I'm a dash one now. Yeah. I don't want Pittsburgh getting back in this game. Phil Kessel. The Penguins I don't want to see that again. To to that does look like Phil Kessel. Them. There's still time here in the third. I know, Let's Doc. See what happens next. Pittsburgh's got it off the draw at center. Pass attempt to Vlasti. Looking to hurdle. Here we go. Moves up the wing. Come on, Tommy. Oh, and here's a three on two. Great glove oh. save, and he keeps it. What a glove save. He's trying to one-time it right the there. He took it away. 
That's such a quick shot. He's able to get his glove on it. By the way, Ray Ferrar, I mean, just shaking his head. He can't believe Doc Emmerich, legend. A little under um, five minutes off the clock. One goal given up, but still a margin for error because the lead they enjoy is two. And the loose puck taken by Vlasic. Uh, uh, Possession uh. on the pickup at his own end by Malkin. Hammers one. Whoa, whoa, no! Gino! No! Team. All right, we got to pay attention here. Uh, what I was saying before, Doc Emmerich, Eddie O., and Ray Ferraro, like this is what a what a broadcast oh, team this is right here. By the way, good thing it didn't hit anybody. And so the goaltender just can't get okay. across to cover this. He's getting too nervous here. Inside, but he stays on his feet, opening up a little more. Room. I'm one and zero so far in this game tonight. Pittsburgh's deficit is only one because of that last goal. Let's see if they can tie it up here. Come in on, the boys. Third. San Jose's got that neutral zone faceoff. He works it along with a pass off the board. Nieto with a one-timer. <laughs> uh, by the way, probably doesn't help that all I'm trying to do is play one-timers. Oh, wait, did I just change the strategy? See, there's some extra stuff here I'm doing that I don't know that I should be doing. See, I, I, I think there's an easier way to play this game than what I'm doing right now. Like, the controls required to play this game are pretty tough. Wonderful centering pass, and it's right to him. Let's just waste some time off the clock here. On through the corner. Skate it around. Skate it around. Stay in the zone. Hey, wait, wait, what are you guys doing? Let's go, Arister. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Mirko Mueller putting on a show. Hatchets one. Big sweeping save. He covers, and a face-off will follow. Ten minutes left. One goal lead. we got to get another goal here. Next goal, huge. Man, they've won so many draws. Not the that one. With a face-off win. Go, 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 go. Back in his defensive end to get it. Muscled long to Hornquist. The shot is Boom. Off. Wait, where's my guy over there? Where's all my players? Hit by the stick. That's just good fundamental defense. Tommy. Hanging on to it now at center ice. To the slot. Score. Oh! He's jammed it in. What a game. What a night for Hertz. Oh, man. That could be the difference maker right there. See that replay. Look like he had a first shot. Banged home his own rebound. Flurry leave. Oh, see the crease there. <laughs> Flurry just the leaving it out there. Up by two. They're going to face an onslaught here near the end of the game, and they know it. They yeah, but it's only good period, if Brazil can score. Two goal lead. Slid to Sutter. Oh, nice shot block pick. Chip to Brown. Mike Brown. He's going to the net. A shot. A little one timer there. Uh oh. Penguins through the neutral zone, carrying on. Right along the blue line to Sutter. Right into the slot. Uh oh, get it out of there. Get it out of there. There's no defenders there. What are you guys doing? All right, top line back out there. Here we go. Here we go. The Sharks just widened their lead. It's now two. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Moving it to oh, come on. Right near the line. Oh, and the pass just didn't work. The Sharks are moving the puck in their own end. Laid on. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to skate around until I get a good shot. No, oh, it's not good. Terrible shot. Oh, jam it. Now it's directed to Kessel. Takes that pass from his left and it's a score. Damn. Is that Kunitz? Man, this game's frustrating. See, this is where you throw a controller right here. 
This is when it happens. This is how and where and when it happens. Jones is beat pretty cleanly up over the shoulder on the stick side. All right. These are saves the goaltender has I was just trying too hard to score my own goal there. This first deficit is now only one. And there's time remaining here in the third period. That's what happens when you get selfish, boys and girls. Looks ahead to start something. The Penguins are moving the puck in neutral ice. We are in the No. Oh, that puck just Oh, boy. San Jose is in control of the puck through center. Just skate around with it. Great scoring chance here. Oh, no. That's not what I meant to do. I mean, I'll take the face off, but... Jones is really sharp. I just kind of wanted the clock to shot, tick down there. Excellently placed puck, but he's able to make the stop. They won it. Now yeah, they, they did. And possession established on the pickup by Vlasic. Steps between the circles. Good use of the Oh no, he fanned on the left timer. Moving on in. Outstanding stop. Terrific interception. Get back. San Jose is continuing on in their own end. This is terrible puck it's management, by the way. Rush. It's a three on two. What are you doing? Shoot it, you dope. Forcing attention indeed. Net empty. Score! There you go. Just trying to get Brazil out there. Ball game. That's it. Oh wait, he had a hat trick. That empty net goal will send the fans to the exits. Time to go home. The Did he have three goals? Kind of lost track. He had some goals last game too. Let's see. They're going to show him cleaning up the hats. Nope. All right, that's it. The Sharks are going to win the Stanley Cup, everybody. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Fires padded away. Carried to the corner by Smith. Oh. It up in his own end. That's it. And the game is over. Jumbo. The record the victory in this one. Turned out to be a closer game than I would have guessed. They had the puck all night long. They really had lots of energy. They played a physical game. <laughs> Come away with the victory. Just say those things and they'll apply to any game. That's awesome. There it is. And the Sharks win. I like this, like the music. They're just getting pumped up. A theme song you will not hear anymore for the time being. That's it for another great night at dun, a hockey dun, 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 Oh, boy. So, we got a good taste of uh, video games. Oh, man, it got all of a sudden awkward silence there. <laughs> As uh, the game was in my ear for, uh, I don't know, how long have I been on here? An hour? I guess each one of those games is probably about a half hour. So, all right, let's uh, let's go to the live chat, see what people are talking about. Uh, that dude legit misses this squad. <laughs> Seeing those Tim Hortons logos is making you crave a double-double and some Timbits. <laughs> it looks nothing like Hurdle. The Hattie. No Hattie. Wardo. I agree. I, you know what? I, I miss Wardo. Good dude. ESPN sounds better. Well, I mean, look, they're both classic themes, you know? Good stuff for a rookie. Um, yeah, you know what? Again, I have not played Xbox at all in at least four years since my son's been born. And uh, I haven't played that game in at least four, so probably could be five. But I guess five would be 2016, maybe when it came out. Or it came out in 15 for 16. So uh, post-game time for the recap. <laughs> all right, so how do we... Let me see how I can do this here. How do I do this? How do I get my music on here that I need? Oh, that's going to screw that up. Hang on a second. Oh, it wants me to install updates, of course. So we do a little... We do a little this. Re 
Rough one tonight for the Pittsburgh Penguins as they lose the Stanley Cup in San Jose Wednesday. I don't have a final score on here or anything. That's what I really, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, box score. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Right. So we could, we could do the whole like uh, theme music thing again. Let's try, let's try this again. Try this again. San Jose wins the Stanley Cup tonight. Three goals in the second period, two in the third, including an empty netter. Pittsburgh tried to mount that comeback in the final frame, but they fall short by two, and the Sharks win the Stanley Cup. Welcome to Post Game Live, everybody. Brody Brazil with Curtis Brown. Say hi, Curtis. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just being silly. Uh, let's go back to the chat. Nope, that's not the chat. That's the chat. Yeah, I wish uh, I wish a fight ensued too. I tried to fight. People said uh, hit hit tap Y twice. I did that. I didn't get much on it. Uh, need takes on the games. <laughs> I won. I won twice. That's all you really need to know. Oh, things we wish happened in 2016. Totally agree. You just got a live now on the NBC SBH. <laughs> Was this on TV just now? This is a good way to practice post game. Thoughts on LeBanc for DeBrusque? Uh, did I miss something? Is that is that a rumor or is that real? Sometimes the AI just don't want to fight. <laughs> yeah, I get. Okay, so I I can't just double tap Y and it and it happens, right? They have to agree. All right, I'll try it next time. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll get Timo back in there. No shootouts. Uh, oh, you saw, whoops, can't leave out your favorite hockey player, of course. You saw the uh, LeBanc thing out there, huh? Interesting. Um, makes a lot of sense to you. I, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't I don't know the, the true details of that. Uh, oh, it's better to fight when you're in a face-off. I didn't know you could do that either. So, yeah, um, there's Xbox for you. I could do whatever you guys want. I could take a few calls, probably have another 20 minutes, or I could just sign off and call, call it a night. Uh, honestly, that that also might happen too. Uh, but we can do whatever. Do whatever you want here now that I'm, I think I'm, I'm done with the game for a bit. Uh, see, that, and that's what happens. Like I, I play it for a while, I get my fix of it. Uh, in this case, honestly, the first game against Minnesota, I was, I was honestly just learning how to even play. Shooting past the puck. Um, can I look at your goal from NHL 21 that you sent me? I'd, how did you send it to me? I, I guess I can take a look. Um, fighting at a face-off reminds you of that wild game. I should do this stream more often, huh? Uh, all right. I appreciate that. I Again, um, for those who missed it, I had the Xbox in a different room it had not even it was not even plugged in so i plugged it in i updated it for 20 minutes loaded the game and then i brought it all in here I had to hook it up to the studio so that it would work properly with the uh, the system uh, so proposal you could help me create my own discord server so I, felix i've i've heard about discord i don't even know what it is can you chat on there can you take calls on there what it, I know. It's embarrassing. I, I've heard of it. I do not know what Discord actually is. So, Felix, if you can tell me what that is, I might be interested in it. Uh, have I done a stream looking at prospects? I have not. You know, a lot of times um, I feel like I dedicate all my energy to the Sharks team and maybe not their pipeline. And... You know, when, when we can discuss these, you know, the next wave and the next batch of players, if I haven't seen them firsthand and if I really don't have a read, a true read, I don't like to just make stuff up and, and read the stats, you know. So I like to have something to bring to the table. And I just feel like, you know, without, again, seeing a lot of these guys in person, I can't do that. So that's kind of why I, I shy away from that. Uh, Jenny has a Discord server, so like... We're talking virtually, right? A Discord server is, you don't actually have a physical server. Uh, oh, it's basically another social media app, chat with others, meet like-minded people. 
There are different servers on a myriad of topics. Myriad of topics. Oh, and yeah, you can even do... Okay. Okay. My phone will be blowing up with notifications, but a Discord server would be awesome. Okay. I would... Uh, I'll try it, especially if I can do chats on there. Oh, SF Giants hang out at Discord. You won't find me there. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you know that, Jenny, and I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, make one for members only. <laughs> Tyler, I can help you create your own OnlyFans server. I, You know what's funny about that? That's another one that I did not know what people were talking about for a long time. And then I found out because they were making uh, Oli fans, like for Matt Olson of the A's. And then I realized what OnlyFans was. So, yeah. I'm a bit behind, but I'll eventually catch up. Uh, I can host mini streams there. I should get Curtis on there. Yeah, right. He still calls everything the social. Um, you can definitely join the Discord. Love the A's. Awesome. All right. All right. You know what? I If I can get the proper help, um, I'll, I'll do that. Felix says here, follow you back on Twitter. We can chat in the DMs. Okay, let's do that. I'll get on that a little bit later tonight. Oh, yeah. You know what? That's also interesting. Didn't see Patty in that in the games I was just playing. You know, it must have been a roster thing. It must have been a lineup and roster thing. Because, like, Patty out and Ben Smith in. No, no disrespect. No disrespect. Uh, Brazil in. Patty out, maybe. Maybe that's what was going on. I wouldn't have taken Patty out to do that. How do I feel about the Warriors? Luke, that's a great question. Um, you know, overall or in the moment? I mean, right now, surprising many, I think, in that they have, kind of like the Sharks, they have righted the ship. Now, the Warriors, you know, have championships in recent years, but they've also had struggles in recent years, largely due to a couple key injuries. I mean, when you had Steph Curry out, you've had Clay Thompson out for several years. Draymond was, you know, banged up here and there, obviously to not have Kevin Durant after a certain point. You know, they they have seen a relative amount of adversity. They, they could have seen their team and their franchise unravel, but it didn't. And I think that's impressive. It, You've got enough leaders there, right? You've got Curry, you've got Clay, you've got Draymond, you've got a head coach who's a leader, you've got a front office that's that's full of leaders. So you never really thought that they would tank and bottom out and and you know it's it's easy in, in basketball and any sport to have a couple superstar players, but that's not enough. Like it's like having a really nice roof on a house with no foundation and the walls are falling apart. Um you know, they, they have the foundation. They've kind of built on that now. A lot of the young players that they've added, and, and even a guy like Juan Toscano-Anderson, think of that that story. Uh, kind of like walks on the team almost. It's it's awesome. Um, so how do I feel about them? I mean, it's... it's And, and what, what were they at one point, like 17-2 and two or something like that? Uh, got off to an amazing start this year. Them and Phoenix. Apparently, it sounds like those are the two best teams in the league. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them. And I, I, I think what the Warriors don't get is enough respect of how hard it is to be good for a long period, and then struggle, and then be good again. That's what the Sharks are trying to do. You know, for so many years, the Sharks of the 2010s, you drop the puck on opening night, and it's, it's like, all right, they're in the playoffs already. Let's just let's just kind of methodically go through these 82 games. They'll be there. Um, and now in the last two years, they haven't been. So now it's a totally different feel. And it's not easy, right? It's not easy to get back to a place they were year after year. So I don't know if I answered your question at all, but uh, MLB The Show stream. So I'm, I'm just finding out, too, that I didn't really... Where's my games here? I didn't realize. I didn't realize you didn't even need to have. Look at these. Jonathan Taves on the front here. 
This is, you know what else I have here? I didn't realize this. Wait. Oh, there it is. Oh, FIFA 6. Okay, so I have NHL 15 and 16. Wait, 15 and 16. And then I have FIFA 15. Should I play some FIFA? Um, I feel like that was an easier game to play, or there's like an easier mode because you don't have to like angle your shots and stuff. Um, yeah, if I, I don't, oh, I didn't realize you could just buy digital versions of the game and like download them on the Xbox. So maybe I will. Don't sneak on Sacramento Kings pregame live, please. <laughs> Why are you, you think I don't like the Kings? I actually made a, a video recently, Brutus. Um, I've never disliked the Sacramento Kings at all. In fact, what I what pains me most is that the Kings and the Warriors have never timed out to be rivals and really good teams at the same time. Think about it. Um, when the Warriors were, you know, doing the We Believe thing, uh, I guess that was right after the Kings had had their run of the early two thousands. And anyway, long story short. <clears throat> what, 35 years, I think, of coexistence in Northern California, they've never really had a rivalry because they've never been good at the same time. So I like the Kings. I want to make that really clear. I mean, I, I grew up on the Warriors, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's not one of those things like if you love the 49ers and hate the Raiders or vice versa or love the Giants and hate the A's or vice versa, it's not like that for me and the Warriors. Like, I, I, the Warriors are my team. Um. But I would love for the Kings to be good, too, just to make it interesting. Yeah, um, the Coyotes got locked out of their own arena again. No, So what I'm understanding, uh, Guzma 4K, I hope I'm saying that right, is that the Coyotes have been tasked with paying some bills that were overdue. And if they don't pay them by the 20th of December, which is 12 days from now, I think it was property taxes and some other bills and fees. If they don't pay it, they're going to get locked out of Gila River Arena. Then what? I mean, I don't think you can go play where the Suns are. I don't know if it's configured for hockey anymore. I, 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 don't, I don't know what their next option is. I mean, clearly there will be some things in the area, but there's not. I mean, I, I don't. That's interesting. They've got to pay up. But that whole thing, you know. That whole thing with the Coyotes and the Gila River Arena, that's interesting because they basically already said next season you're not even welcome back. So I really don't know what's going on there. Uh, what do you and Brownie do on commercial breaks and while the game's on? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, during the commercial breaks of our show, we actually do a lot of talking with the producer um, she she gives us updates on what's in the next segment um, or, you know, any kind of tips or, or ideas or things like that. I mean, we're, it's a team, right? So um, we talk a little bit about what usually what's coming up next in the show. Um, there's a lot of times I would say that we're watching an interview and we hear something that catches our eye. We don't talk, but we're just like throwing each other looks like or or. That's totally right, you know. Um, a lot of times we're listening for things that we talked about that then the players or the, or the coaches address just to kind of see if they saw what we saw and we're talking about. Uh, while the game's on, honestly, you know, these days at work there's there's distancing protocols, there's spacing and all that stuff. Uh, we used to just sit in, the, in a small office together and watch the game and yell at each other and I'd mostly be on my computer doing social media. <laughs> He'd be like, hey, pay attention over there. Um, so that that's pretty much it. I mean, nowadays, it's actually better if we don't talk a bunch during the game. Because what happens is if I know exactly how he feels about something um, or, or if he's already said it to me in real life, then when I want him to say it to me on TV, it's already been said. It just... it. I don't know if that makes sense to everybody, but you don't want to do your show in the office. You want to do your show in the studio. So I try not to talk to Brownie a whole lot like during the game, but that's another thing I, I do during commercial breaks is try and pick his brain. Like I'll just say something like, uh, well, for example, Hurdle had a hat trick last night. And I said, you know, isn't it, it's kind of cool that Hurdle had three different goals. They weren't the same one or two over and over again. Like he was... 
he was dynamic tonight. And then he said something that caught my ear. I'm like, okay, when we talk about that, I'll set it up that same way. I'll kind of, I'll dig deeper on that because I could see there was something there. So that's kind of what we do. You know, it's um, mostly screwing around, but we've also worked together for hundreds of games at this point, like hundreds and hundreds of games. I don't think we're at the thousands, but um, like we, we know, you know, there's a lot of times we don't even need to communicate to actually communicate, if that makes sense. We don't need to talk to communicate. Uh, maybe the NHL should float the Coyotes alone. I, I, I don't know the situation. I, I, yeah, and, and Andy Land says it best. Maybe the Coyotes will move into San Jose temporarily. That would be ironic. Um, I think there's a, a lot of places, like Las Vegas would be closer, you know, but I guess you'd need a building that would be empty. And how, how are you changing your schedule? And, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Um, that's a great question. How do the player interviews get chosen? You always wonder how that happens uh, almost right after the periods or the game ends. So uh, we, the TV network, we make a request to the team, and that's usually just a text message from our game producer to their PR person just to say, hey, uh, we want to talk to Mario Ferraro first intermission. And, uh, you know, full disclosure, if the game is going the wrong way, like if it's three nothing Winnipeg after twenty, we're probably canceling that Sharks player interview for first intermission. Um, but we make the request. It's usually a given that unless there's some weird circumstance that the player is available, and w- and we're usually asking strategically. Um, we're trying to get a player who has something good and positive and interesting going on all at the same time. Uh, you know, usually if it's a big moment in the game, turnover, you know, somebody does something bad. Uh, We're not probably chasing after that person during the game to talk about it a lot because I also don't think that that's fair too, right? They're, they're in the game. They're giving us this opportunity. Let's not use it against anybody. Let's, let's make this valuable for the viewer as well. Um, So that's how we do it. Um, Post game, I think is, is kind of the same situation. I'll tell you firsthand when uh, I used to do the, the, bench interviews and the intermission stuff and the post game stuff. Uh, and then when I was there in person, I would just make the request with our, our, our PR contact, uh, Tom Holy and Ben Guerrero were their names back in the day. Uh, those two have actually moved on. Tom's in Dallas with the stars and Ben is up in Seattle with the Kraken doing basically respectively similar jobs, uh, similar, but elevated jobs. But yeah, we just, we make the request. We go to the team, um, when it was the bench interviews, though, way back in the day, you know, that that obviously didn't require, like, approval of any sort. I mean, I would talk to the team about, I, I'm going to go try and get this guy, that guy. But it was a, a last-second, you know, split-second decision because if the player I wanted to talk to during the break was just com- just came off a shift and he's out of breath, I mean, you might as well not, not do that one. They can't even talk. Um, so... It took a little bit of flex. It took a lot of flexibility, actually, back then. But, uh, yeah, that's how, that's how those work. We on the TV side, we choose those strategically. <laughs> no, not hardly. No, but, I mean, we, we have a – and I, I hope he sees that. We would have, we, I would say, and I think he would agree, we just have, we have a good rapport. We, we think a lot. We, we, we're two different people, two different, you know, I mean, two totally different approaches, but we think in a lot of the same ways. And, and maybe that's a lot of being around each other, working together. Um, we've got, we've got the same like tactics maybe. So. Uh, let's see here. If only relegation made sense in the, in the NHL. Uh, let's see here. What else? What should we get to? When are we going to get some Brody Brazil NFTs? You know what's crazy here? Uh, Tom Botuna, 84. Or maybe it's Tom Botuna, 84. I don't know. Um, NFTs, Discord servers. What was it? And what was one other thing tonight that I... I it's like, I don't, I'm not really sure what that is. Anyway, 
I, I've just found out what an NFT was recently. I don't get that. You're you're buying something that doesn't physically exist? If that's the case, I'd like to sell these two walls behind me as NFTs. This one will go for uh, 50 grand. And this one, will, because it's not wood, this one will go for 40 grand. So 50 grand, 40 grand. 90 grand here, right here at N NFTs. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm. everybody says they're popular. I, maybe somebody could explain that to me. There's one for you. Sacramento Coyotes. <laughs> you don't get it either. Discord is legit, but NFTs don't do it. I mean, like NFTs seem like the next level of crypto. And I know those two things are unrelated, but what I'm saying is the same, the same genre and cross-section of people who really got into crypto were like, okay, I'm into this, I'm into this so much now, and I I need the next thing to to like have it be early and be an early adopter of it. I need to get into this next thing. And that's who I think does NFTs. We're the early crypto people. I don't know. <laughs> Do it. Uh Discord, Discord. I don't really understand the hype behind NFTs either. I understand what they are, but it seems dumb to me. I mean, uh, you know, uh, all I'm saying is, like, like, sell me on it. Don't just sell me on, a, on an NFT. Sell me on the idea of what it, what is this? Why should I do it? Is it really a valuable proposition? I mean, certainly if I ever did something like that, it'd be, it'd be money I'd spend that I, I would be okay with losing if that were the case. Kind of a random question, and I agree, but what do I prefer, cats or dogs? Well, Caker okay, Girl, let me just say that I love all animals. And I'm talking like giraffes, emus, <laughs> monkeys, gibbons, birds, everything. I, I love animals. I really do. Um, I've never had a cat. My wife would really like us to have a cat. Uh, she says that all the things I wish our dog was <laughs> is what a cat is. But that's, that's, I love dogs. Like I, I've only ever had a dog, had one, a couple of them growing up. Uh, Melvin is our six-year-old um, yellow lab. He's great with our son. I, I prefer dogs just because like you can take a dog on a walk or like I feel like a dog looks at you and knows when you're sad and wants to like cuddle with you or lick you in the face or like give you a look of like, you know, feel better. A cat would look at you and say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm going away. I don't want to be near you. You know, I just, I, I feel like a dog, I don't know, a dog is closer to a human. I know that's a, that's a reach and a stretch, but I, I, I relate to dogs more and I, I've been around cats enough and I like cats too. I mean, they just want to sit in your lap and they just want to be petted. Some dogs are like that too. I know, but I think I like dogs more not to put cats out of the picture, but I just like dogs more. There you go. Pineapple on pizza. You know what, Andy? It's okay to have pineapple on pizza. It's weird that pineapple is hot on anything, you know? Like, pineapple to me, cold, uh, salty, juicy, refreshing, you know, like it's just that sweet taste. Uh, maybe not salty, sugary, I think is what I was trying to say. Um, like pineapple, it, 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 you eat a pineapple on a hot day. Ah, oh, that tastes really good. The reverse of it, right, is like I don't I don't want to eat a hot pineapple on a cold day. So it is like a it's a texture temperature thing with me. That being said, I know some people are so against pineapple on pizza. Um, I love pizza enough that I'll eat it with a pineapple on it, but I prefer it with a pineapple off it, right? So I'm gonna say prefer no, but I it, yeah 
if there's pineapple on that pizza and, and I'm hungry, I'm crushing it. I don't care. It's not going to stop me. Roasted pineapple. Okay. Okay. Bruce, you make a good point here too. Grilled pineapple though. I have had that. Grilled peaches. Let me take it to another level. Grilled peaches are awesome too. Oh, you can send a link in the chat. No, you won't. I don't think you'll get in trouble. Uh, if you can, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be able to see it here on the way my chat is set up. <clears throat> uh, depends on the personality with a cat or a dog. I agree. Like there are some dogs that are like cats and probably some cats that are like dogs. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's get to that point here where my, my voice is fading. So probably won't be too much longer here. Pineapple on pizza is a crime. Steve Dangle is kind of still scared of Discord. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll get used to it. I'll, no, I, I, I honestly, Felix, I've, I've just not even checked it out. I have not even like really dived into it yet. So once I play with it, understand it a little bit more, then maybe I can start my own thing and figure out what to do with it. <laughs> Make you hungry at 11 p.m. Post game with E40. All right. That's a good idea. Tomas Hurdle is apparently anti-pineapple on pizza. Um, like I said, it's not my favorite. I, I don't endorse it, but I'll eat it. Okay. Do I hear anything about the lockout for MLB? And are you ready today, Las Vegas A's or not? Well, let's just cross off the Las Vegas A's thing. I'm not talking about that at all. <laughs> um. And I am going to make Matthew a, a longer form video on the MLB lockout. I, I think there are some ways to to digest this from a fan perspective. And, and fans, you know, you, they hear lockout and it's frustrating and it's stressful. But But honestly, we're here in December. December and January, what does it even matter? If they're locked out or if it were a player strike or whatever it is, I'm just saying if it were all these different labor issues, it doesn't matter. No, players can't sign their, you know, the players' depictions off the website. I know fans were like, oh, my gosh, this is absurd. But if you're a player, I mean, first off, the teams are doing this because they can't make money off players right now. And if you're a player, you wouldn't want that. So I know it, it, it looks weird and it feels weird, but, like, this is expected. It was totally expected. First off, this strike uh, – sorry – didn't say that. This lockout um, was uh, 16 months in the making, at least. It literally from July of 2020, we had a pretty good indication that there would be a labor issue um, here in 2021. So, again, not a surprise, not a big deal for December and January. Now, you know, the moment you hear spring training gets pushed back, Okay, that's an eye opener because there is some flexibility there, but not a ton. And then there's going to have to be all these signings of all the free agents who didn't get under contract before uh, December first. So, um, you know, they got to be careful about about pushing the season back or missing some time. Like nobody wants that. That's to me when it gets real. But the other part about it right now is with this lockout. Um, do you really think that they would they would strike a deal on January 5th? Why wouldn't both sides, like knowing that it doesn't really matter until last week of January, why play hardball yet, you know? I know a lot of people have said what should be happening right now is that you put owners and players and the representatives in a room and you don't let them out until they can make progress every single day. But, you know, neither side's really going to ever do that. Uh, Tom, you can create an NFT that is a limited supply of verified a verified item like a picture or painting. Uh, think of a baseball card, but a digital version, a rare item. First off, uh, Tom, let me say thank you so much for being part of the Super Chat. I always want to notate that. I always also want to tell people that every dollar that comes in on the Super Chat goes straight back to this channel uh, to fixing things to improving things maybe me buying a new copy of a video game now since people want to see that so 
Um, but that that's where it goes to. Uh, so and I and I do understand, you know, when you say limited supply and a verified item. So like I own the picture or the painting, and then people are buying and what what would stop somebody from creating ten different ten different copies of the digital version? And not even if they weren't selling it, but then ten of their friends could also have this. And what happens to the resolution of you know this digital item? Let's say in twenty years that you know think about a JPEG somebody sent you ten years ago. It's tiny, it's grainy. You're like, oh, that's not good quality. So I bought the crap quality version now. When my screen's gonna be like a twelve K screen in twenty thirty two, how does it work? You know, I get it. Like I, I, I'm not here to be so negative on the NFTs. I just I really need the sell job. You know, that's really what I need. Brody, do I side with owners, players, or fans uh, on pro sports labor issues? You know what, that dude, it's always different. Um, and I, I hear the fan, pers- let me just say the fan perspective, you know, it's, well, it's millionaires fighting with billionaires. And yes, it is. But I mean, these are the people that when things are going well, you're supporting the team for signing the player and then you're supporting the player because he's making the team better. And like, you don't hear that criticism when, when the skies are blue. Um, so I'm not, I'm not saying I you know, don't side with the fans, but I understand the frustration. I understand what it's like to say, all I really wanted to do is watch you guys play baseball or hockey. Why can't you get along? It's not that hard. Um, so I, 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 I get a little bit of, of both sides with fans, stuff that I get and stuff that I wish I could I could help explain more. And then players and owners, and like I said, it's it's always different. Owners have to be disciplined in running a business. If you just give everybody what they want every time, you're not running a business anymore and it doesn't last. At the same respect, um, you know, owners also don't have the books wide open. You don't know how much the team's made. You don't know how much they spent. You don't, it's all secretive. Uh, With players, they want their contract info out there to help other players get signed for comparable amounts and stuff. So, you know, the the players are kind of, um, the players are completely an open book. The owners are not so much. Uh, But again, I, I, I can't say it's always one side. And honestly, with this labor issue in baseball, I haven't even, I mean, I, you know, it's a lockout. So the teams, the, the the teams in the league imposed this. They're the ones that are are kind of throwing the first jab, if you will, officially. So that's that's got to be notated too. Screenshot the NFT. Yeah, there you see. There you go. Uh, can I ice skate? Yes, I can. In fact, I was thinking about. Uh, Maybe finding a holiday rink to do some laps at. I got a, I got the uh, uh, Bauer Vapors up in the attic. I'm going to have to sharpen those bad boys. <laughs> you don't trust it. Give me the JPEG and call it a day. Do I think opening day is pushed back later in May or start in April? I mean, at this point, you just hope that it's it's late March is when it's supposed to be, like for the A's. Um, but... You know, I, I, all I'm, all I'm saying is that with the lockout, you know, here in December and for most of January, concern level is low to moderate, but it's going to ramp up from moderate to critical, you know, by January 20th through the 28th, hypothetically. The blockchain. Oh, man, you could verify the transfer of the pick through the blockchain. (laughs) What if I screenshot it? Is that a thing, though? Can you screenshot something? I don't know. And you're right, Felix. Somebody's going to have to donate a lot more than $5 for a new video console. (laughs) I'm just saying, you know, of all the the revenue that the channel makes. And the the Super Chat is is part of it, you know. Oh, you're loving the North Face. Oh, the, the hoodie. I've had this one for a long time. Very comfy. Um, this one actually, I wear it to bed sometimes too, especially in the winter months. Can't put this over my head. Headphones can. Oh, I can maybe. Quite a look this is going to be. 
put this up on the big screen here. <laughs> yeah, this zips all the way up, but the, oh, the headphone cord is going to be in here. <laughs> How's this for a live stream? <laughs> what if I just fell asleep and did the live stream like this? Nobody would watch that. I was thinking about doing a long time ago, actually, during during the whole, um, you know, shelter in place stuff. I was thinking about, and I didn't have all this equipment back then, but um, I was I was really thinking about doing a 24-hour live stream. I think I would have set this stuff up in a different room, like with a couch where I could kind of lay down for a bit. I mean, I'm gonna, I would get tired, but if I could live stream for 24 straight hours for like charity or something... That would have been a good idea. I just can't do it now with sports going on. And um, yeah, just because if I miss a night of sleep, I'm then I'm really toast. I'm already behind the curve as it is. Oh, another good question here. And it's controversial since I said I sleep in this hoodie uh, or this, this zip up here. Do I sleep with socks on or off? LOL. I will tell you this. A lot of nights I go to bed with socks on and something about the first like five minutes of then being under the covers and getting warm. And all of a sudden I'm like, hmm, my feet feel hot and constricted. So I take the socks off, but there have been times where I actually sleep the full night with socks on. I'm either too tired when I fall asleep or I fall asleep too fast uh, or it's that cold. And the comforter we have is pretty good. Like, it'll, it'll get you toasty quick. Um, so the answer is I always generally sleep with socks off. But I have done it with them on. And I usually go into bed with them on. And then, you know, take them off. I don't, and I don't even reach down. I just kick them off with my feet. Then, like, you can hear them drop on the side of the bed. And then next morning I wake up, there they are. So usually off. And I don't know why. I, I did some research that something about um, your your feet help like gauge body temperature and help cool you down. Like your the rest of your body's covered under the comforter. So like your feet being exposed, it doesn't like let heat out, but it regulates body temperature or something like that. So anyway, <coughs> all right, I'm losing it here. Brody's about to be canceled. What did I do? What did I, wait, 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 what, what, what did I say? Oh, falling asleep? Is it, is that blasphemous? Wait, no, no, what, unsubbing, what did I just say? What did I say that you don't like? Did I, was it the socks thing? Someone screenshot that and make it an NFT. Uh, I wish I played in a rec league. Oh, socks in bed? Wait a second. Wait, wait, you guys all sleep with socks on in bed? <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm pretty sure that's what you... Uh, wait, wait, wait a second. Yeah, wh why are, why are y'all grilling me? Wait, 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 you guys... Uh, too big to fail. Wait, my socks comment. I I sleep with my with my socks off. Wait, I don't even realize it's so wrong to chat. Yeah, I don't. You guys take sock talk very seriously. Apparently, I'm a monster. <laughs> no socks in bed. Uh, no socks off. Yeah, what monster sleeps in socks? Brody's about to get shirt. What, 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 what did I do? Oh, man. Sonic Tonic got me. I I I just don't like socks on. Oh. Oh, you guys are all messed with me. All right. On that note, then, see, we're good. We're good. All right. I'm going to, uh, I'm literally going to pass out. Years of being a dancer in socks makes you never want to uh, wear them to sleep. Never. Oh, it's the fact that I start with socks in bed. <laughs> oh, 
alert card is immediately. <laughs> it's pretty good. That is a great way to cap off the night. Uh, oh, do I do meditations? Yeah, I'll tell you what. When I get in bed, uh, I always put on either an audio book. I cannot fall asleep to silence. I know. Uh, I should do a separate video on that too sometime. I just, I cannot fall asleep to a room that's silent. I need somebody talking, preferably in a British accent, preferably monotone. <laughs> but an audiobook does that for me. Something that I'm kind of interested in, but but not like fully enough where it's not going to make me more awake. I'm telling you, within the next 30 minutes, I'll be laying down in bed, one earbud in. I can't do both. So I'm a side sleeper. So, you know, right ear on the pillow, earbud in the left ear. Um... I have the Headspace app. They've got some great soundscapes. Those help me fall to sleep. Um, uh, certain podcasts that I'll, I'll have remain nameless because I don't want to insult them like I'm putting them on to fall asleep, but I am absolutely putting them on to fall asleep. I do that. And audiobooks. Um, just because it's, like I said, it's monotone. They go on for 13, 14 hours, so I don't have to like hear theme music at the end that's going to wake me up. <laughs> David Attenborough. Yeah, exactly. That's a great voice to fall asleep to. And it's it's not an insult. It's so smooth it puts me out. Um, Sonic Tonic, same thing. The iPad is bedside and you always put something on. Um, you know, what's crazy is I before my, well, at that point, girlfriend, probably, yeah, before before fiance, when my current, when my wife uh, moved in with me for the first time and in all those years of just me going to bed by myself, I would I would have audio just playing in the room quietly, and then I realized, okay, I need to listen to something when I'm when I'm falling asleep, but I don't want her to hear it. So that's when the earbud thing started, and then we're probably, you know, around ten years uh, into that. So, oh, I might be interested in some soft spoken ASMR app. Oh, what's soft spoken ASMR TPP? <laughs> I have listened to ASMR. It's uh, it's interesting. It really is. Uh, Headspace helps you when you have a hockey game in the morning. Yeah, and you're still awake at two a.m. It really calms you down. And for me, it's just the brain is going so fast. Right, I need something to turn the brain down. Give the brain a break. You need Brody, a Brody falling asleep podcast telling me how great the sharks are. Well, I could, I'll just record it here right now for you. Well, Luke, thanks for tuning in tonight. I hope you have a fantastic sleep. Let me tell you a little bit about Timo Meyer. At last check, he's got 24 points. No, actually, I don't even, I'm just making stuff up. How many points does Timo have? Timo Meyer is the team leader this season in points. He's had a really tremendous run. And that's also despite having COVID and missing five games. Timo's had a really rebound season, like a lot of the Sharks players. Eric Carlson is the same way. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Uh, last game out, Tomas Hurdle had a hat trick in a Sharks win over Calgary, the second time they beat the Flames this season. Uh, ASMR used to help you, but not anymore. Oh, yeah, plus tinnitus. Yeah, I think that's the ringing in your ears, right? Uh, falling asleep to true crime podcasts. Oh, hey, Tom, I appreciate you in the super chat. Let's go to Happus Brewery on Lincoln, and you'll explain NFTs and why screenshots don't work. <laughs> These super chats are brought to you by your NFC sales. <laughs> hey, you know what, Tom? You sold me right there on, on NFTs. You're in the super chat. You're making dough off NFTs. I appreciate that. Uh, and yeah, Happus Brewery, they make the Logan Couture beer, right? I've I've not been there. Um Familiar with where that's at, though. So you got it. Uh, as soon as, <laughs> as soon as we get out of uh, pandemic jail, I'm in. Uh, did I ever talk to my wife um, before she was your wife? Oh, about my podcast addiction. It's not, you know what, Caker Girl. It's not that I'm. Uh, it's not that I'm so into the podcast or the audiobook. It's that I can't, I just can't fall asleep unless, uh, I'm listening to something like my mind races and it just, uh, I'm, I go to bed, I go to sleep much quicker, 
uh, if it's, if I'm listening to something, if my brain is distracted. And I, I think I did told her that, <clears throat> or did, told, I, did, I did tell her that, <clears throat> um, but I also wanted to be polite and not, I, I think for a while she was okay. I played stuff. She's like, yeah, I don't care. She'll just fall asleep. But and it's like, yeah, I don't like that anymore. So, and now we have a child and he wakes up a bunch. And so there's, we both have sleeping stuff. <laughs> oh, way too good at this. Sleep podcasts might be a nice niche to look into. Uh, you know what it is, Haley? It's just, it's the, it's the audio set up here. It's the microphone. It's really the fact that you can get into it like this and I can, uh, work the microphone and also because I'm my voice is still recovering a little bit it's it's got the extra berry white in it right now a little bit of berry so there you go all right <laughs> this better be a separate clip brody <laughs> you guys know how I do it on the youtube channel <laughs> uh i once saw timo meyer in passing when you were uh, on a night out in santana row yeah uh, I have been to Santana Row with young Timo before. Um, it's just modern talk radio. <laughs> There's actually a great podcast for this, except uh, for, or for this exact purpose that you listen to. It's literally called something like the most boring podcast in the world. <laughs> yeah, put on the most boring thing possible. Oh, I didn't realize I was on the wrong camera the entire time. Um, yeah, that's what that's what you listen to the podcast for. Give me something boring. Uh, give it to me in, a, in a, a boring subject, a boring voice. I'll fall asleep. Oh, look at Tom really going hard on the super chat. I appreciate it. Uh, game seven, Shark Stanley Cup or Game Seven, Oakland World Series. I can only go to one. Where am I going? Now. Let me explain that this is a lose-lose proposition here, Tom, because I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want people to think I'm playing favorites here. But this is the truth of my life. I've already been to a ton of World Series games between 88, 89, and 90 with the Oakland A's. I got to, not in person, I was not there game four at Candlestick, but I got to like see the A's win a World Series. Now, I was at all the Stanley Cup final games in 2016 with the Sharks, but I have not yet seen the Sharks do it all in person. So for me, if you're telling me they were both playing on the same night and I could only go to one, it would have to be the Sharks only because they haven't won it yet. That's, that's, that's the easy answer for me on this. It's an impossible answer. You would always regret not going to the other. But, and also because, like I said, uh, born in 81, was at the Coliseum in the late 80s, early 90s. I saw it. I was at the World Couple World Series games. Um, so that's, I, I'm siding, I'm siding with the Sharks on that one. All right. And on that note, I will be signing off. I'm going to make a couple of clips of this video, actually. And uh, make some more more YouTube videos. Before I go to bed, I like to, you know, edit them up real quick, process them, and then they're ready. They'll be ready tomorrow morning. Oh! Actually, wait. Oh, I have a video to play myself out with. Nope, 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 nope. Not there yet, Brazil. All right, let me do this. Let me get that set up here. What is the... Uh... Let me do a quick check of the time here. Check out my new, my other new little toy here. It's going to pop up here. Uh, oh, maybe that. That's why. There we go. <laughs> it's 1123. And we're broadcasting live from California. Yeah, it's just a clock. <laughs> that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is my new toy. A clock. Just watch that all day. All right. Now it's time to go. And now I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to do, let's see here. Put that on. Going to, uh, nope, the broadcast doesn't start soon. 
Uh, let me see here. I don't necessarily want, uh, nope, I don't want color bars. Nope, nope. Oh, there we go. Broadcast has concluded. So I'll, I'll leave you with some scenery here of the Bay Area. But indeed, the broadcast has concluded. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. We'll do Sharks Night Shift tomorrow, San Jose in the Minnesota Wild. Team Teal looking to make it two in a row, two statement wins in a row if they beat Minnesota. All right. Be safe, everybody. Have a good rest of your night.